Forrester from The Magic for Less Travel and today I'm going to do a quick walkthrough to show you how to set up your My Disney Experience account and also how to use some of the key features in that My Disney Experience account. Now if you have any questions when setting up your account, please reach out to your Magic for Less Travel counselor. That's exactly why we're there. We're there to help you plan your magical vacation. So let's get started. here to give you a quick walkthrough on creating your My Disney Experience account and utilizing some of the features that will be in that account. As you can see, I'm starting right here on the Disney World site. There's a few ways you can get here. One of them is you can go to startyourdisneyexperience.com or you can also go to disneyworld.com and you'll end up here. Um, eventually you'll get to the disneyworld.disney.go.com site so kind of there's a lot of roads that lead to this one site and I'm going to start right here in the sign in or create account link and so that's where we'll start the process there click that to show you what that looks like um, now if you've ever created a Disney account maybe you created one on ESPN.com or you've done some shopping at the Disney store online. There's a lot of different ways that a Disney.com account may have been created for you. If that's the case, you'll go ahead and sign in with that email address or username and the password. If you've forgotten the password, of course, click that forget password link there. If you have never had a Disney account, you don't have one at all, you can go ahead and create an account. And when you click that link, they'll walk you through this quick form to show you how to go ahead and set up your account. You'll do that with your email and password and some other personal information. But it's a fairly uh, quick form. And then when you're done, you'll just go ahead and hit the green button here that says create an account. And then you'll be done. Um, we already have a, a kind of fictitious account there, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in with that information there. And I'll be taken back to the home page here. You can see it says Welcome Disney, and this will have Welcome and your first name on there. Our fictitious account has the name Disney Traveler, so um, that's why you see that there. Once you're signed in, this is where you're going to want to go. This area right here is the My Disney Experience area. And you can see there's a lot of different things you can plan and manage here. But where we're going to start is right here in your profile. And if you can go ahead and click that link to your profile, you can see that right here I have Moana. She is my avatar for my My Disney Experience account. Now, you can go ahead, if this is a new account for you, you might see kind of a Mickey silhouette here, but you can change that to a number of different characters. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Just go ahead and click change character and you'll see a big list of Disney characters from which you can choose here. Um, I was Moana. Um, now I think I'll go ahead and change to be Violet from The Incredibles, but you can change your avatar as often as you would like. I'll go ahead and click Done there, and you can see I've now been changed to Violet. Um, this, uh, this profile is where you're also going to go to do things like set your account settings and your contact information and communication preferences, but also where you can enter a credit card. During the process of making dining reservations and when you check into your resort, you'll need to have a credit card linked to your account. So you may want to go ahead and do that right now. That will make the planning process easier. You can see that you can add a credit card right here for your dining reservations. And if you're going to be a Disney Resort Hotel guest, you can go ahead and set your room account pin right here too. So those are both handy features that you may want to do right now. We're going to look at another section of the My Disney Experience account, and that is my family and friends list. Now, if you go ahead and click that, we're going to see here I am, but I want to add the people in my party who are traveling with me. Um, that means that I'll be able to assist with making Fast Pass Plus reservations and doing dining reservations that include them and other useful things. So I'm going to go ahead and add a guest. When you reach this point, you can add a guest in a few different ways. 
you can find them through connected guests. So let's say you have a list of friends that you, people that you're already friends with with the My Disney Experience account. You may be able to find other friends by looking to see who they're friends with, and you'll be able to do that. You might be able to import them from a Walt Disney World hotel reservation and it will ask for the hotel reservation and you'll be able to provide that. Or you can just enter their name and age and that's another way that you can do that. You'll want to make sure though that everyone that you're traveling with has either has a My Disney Experience account or you go ahead and just add them as the guest and manage their account for them. Now, we're going to go ahead and cancel that. And we're going to show another, um, some of the other features here. I'm not going to go into a lot of explanation on all these features, but I just want you to know so that you can remember that they're here. Um, you'll have a, res a link here for my reservations and tickets. And once you get your confirmation from your Magic for Less Travel Counselor, you'll want to go ahead and link your resort reservation right here. So go ahead and click that button and you'll fill in the confirmation number and the last name on your reservation. Once you do that, you'll hit next and it will link that reservation with your profile. It might ask you to, um, link, to kind of link some of the travelers, the people that are traveling with you, with people who are in your friends and family list that you created on the other page. You can also list link dining reservations here as well if that's something that you need to do in your planning part. This My Disney Experience tab is also going to be the location where you go to make your Fast Pass Plus reservations when you're at 60 days out. You can also, um, you'll personalize your Magic Dance and Cards, and again, that's, that's at 60 days. You'll also look, um, you can shop online and do other things, but this is why this is so important. The one other thing you can do in your My Disney Experience account that you're going to want to know how to do is to make dining reservations, and that's under this Things to Do tab. Once you get there, you'll be able to click the Make Dining Reservations. Now, you can't do it until you're 180 days out or less, and I'll show you a little more about making dining reservations in another video, but this gives you a quick overview of the My Disney Experience account, the tab here that's on the website, and hopefully that makes it a little easier for you to get started with this process. If you have any questions, make sure you contact your Magic for Less Travel Counselor. They will be happy to walk you through any of this process and help you with any uh, problems you may have. Thanks so much. The next thing we're going to want to do is show you how to add friends and family to your My Disney Experience account. This is kind of an important part of the planning process as doing this allows you to help plan for those folks in your friends and family list. So what we're going to do is go back to the My Disney Experience tab and scroll down to my family and friends list. As you can see, we have me and then Mr. Mickey Traveler and what we want to do is add a guest. Now, there's a few ways to add guests to your um, friends and family list. You can either find through my connected guests. So for instance, let's say one of the guests that you're already connected with is also connected to other guests. By clicking on that person's um, friends and family list or seeing who their friends and family list, you may find somebody else that you want to add to your friends and family list. You can also import from a Walt Disney World hotel reservation, and that would happen after you would link that reservation to your account, or you can, enter, you can add a guest by entering their name and age, and that's the method we're going to choose today. Um, so the person we're gonna add is Miss Minnie Traveler, and she's an adult. Now, I have to choose whether I want to manage all plans for this guest or invite this guest to connect. If this is someone that you know already has a My Disney Experience account, you want to click Invite This Guest to Connect, and you want to put in the email address that they use when accessing their My Disney Experience account. Then they'll receive an invitation via the email to connect with you on My Disney Experience. 
If this is a person that you want to manage all plans for, they don't have a My Disney Experience account, they won't create one, they won't be using it while you're in the parks, then go ahead and click I want to manage all plans for this guest. You would also choose invite this guest to connect if, for instance, this is another adult that is traveling in your party and they're going to want to be able to have access to the resort reservation, uh, your dining reservations, and your Fast Pass Plus reservations. Then go ahead and invite that guest to connect even if they don't have a My Disney Experience because it will invite them to create one. But for my purposes today, I'm going to choose I want to manage all plans for this guest. And once I choose that, I just go ahead and click that and click Done. And as you can see now, Ms. Mini Traveler is added to my list of family and friends and I'll be able to make plans that include her. The last thing I'm going to show you how to do today is how to link a resort or package reservation to your My Disney Experience account. You will need to do this before you do things like Fast Pass Plus. It will make things so much easier. So what you're going to want to do is go to the My Disney Experience tab again. And this time we're going to click on Reservations and Tickets. Now. If this reservation was already linked, you would see it here. You would see the resort hotel reservation and your dining reservations and your Fast Pass Plus reservations if you've made those already. Since we can't see our reservation yet, we're going to click Link Resort Reservation. And we're going to go ahead and we come to a page where we can either choose resort reservation or vacation package or dining reservation. Right now we want to link a resort reservation or vacation package. So we're going to use the confirmation that our Magic for Less travel agent gave to us. Go ahead and put that in. And also put in the last name that is on the reservation. After that, it's going to come up with our reservation. So we're staying at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. It has the check-in dates and the check-out dates, the room type, and it says it's matched these guests for you. If this is correct, you're just going to go ahead and click Done. And we'll take it just a little bit here, but then your reservation will be added to your My Disney Experience account. And you have the choice now to do things like make dining reservations or build your itinerary. So that's a big plus. Um, and you can go ahead and see the details of your reservation again. When you click My Reservations, here we go. There is our reservation and it tells me the type of tickets that are included and all that great information. So that finishes up our tutorial for today. I hope it gave you a good overview on how to create your My Disney Experience account and use some of the features there. I'll be showing you how to do things like Fast Pass Plus and dining at another time. If you have any questions, please reach out to your travel counselor. That's what they're there for. They are happy to help. We know the process can be a bit overwhelming at times, but if you just reach out to them with any questions that you have, we'll be able to help. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye. Thank you.